online? You have online sales? Yeah. Okay, excellent. We have an ABA leave. web web website. And okay. What we've been doing is if we sign stock, we go in on Twitter and then make a notice. You can buy signed stock at whichever store. Absolutely. Absolutely. That way they know yeah. where to get them. And Sally, I just made these based off of what Penguin did. <gasps> Very cool. So you, it's it's my ebook only, and that QR code will take them to Park Road Books to buy. The you are store. wonderful. So I have a whole bunch of those if I can leave them. Yeah, that was the smartest thing that Penguin did. I know, I loved it. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, I am going to go home. Because I've been wanting to do something so people can pick it up. But I wanted it to go through Park Road because you guys are so awesome. Do you have more than? Oh, yeah. Because if you give me a couple, what I'll do is I'll put this by your book and I'll put I'm the front and the back. Like a... <laughs> I was a sales rep for Random House. So I've been in the book business my entire adult life. Um, just in the, the different end this time. At the very beginning, I was selling independent bookstores and I loved it. I had North Carolina and South Carolina and Savannah as my territory and it was great because what people were reading in Raleigh was different from what they were reading in Columbia, South Carolina. It was exciting. At the end, I was just selling two large uh, chains and um, it wasn't fun. I could have been selling anything. And um, I really like placing the book in somebody's hand and seeing that immediate. And I just felt like I was another cog in the wheel rather than you know, spreading the word about books. So what do you um, say about the relationship between publishers and independent booksellers? Is it a strong relationship? With some of them, it's a very strong relationship. I know editors, I know publicists, I know marketing people. Um, they send us manuscripts, they ask our opinions. I just had a sales rep on the phone right be before you came asking about um, the availability of books for young girls um, dealing with their body and what kind of a market was there for a chapter book in that. So I think we're, a, you know, we stay in constant communication, um, phone calls, emails. Um, we see each other at Winter Institute, Book Expo, um, SEBA, the Southern Independent Booksellers Alliance. Um, very strong, very strong relationship. So how would that compare to the relationship between a um, publisher and a larger bookstore? Well, with a larger bookstore, especially if you're a chain, um, the probability of people, clerks, staying um, and at the store for a while and developing a relationship is really, sometimes it's possible, but in the most part, they're people that are just looking for a job. They're not looking as a career for doing it. Everybody that works here at the store has been doing it a very long time. We have like over 120 years of combined experience in book selling. Um, they just there's not that chance for relationships to evolve in a chain bookstore in the most part there's always exceptions to the rules um, but it's also with the chain bookstore is when Random House goes in to sell Barnes and Noble they're not talking to the frontline booksellers they're not talking to the people who actually place the book in somebody's hand it was very cute Megan I guess is the publicist yeah she was like you read the one copy yes we do <laughs> We have two. <laughs> so with the big box bookstores closing, such as um, Borders, what does that mean for the smaller independents? It's a huge opportunity for us um, to reestablish ourselves as the, the, the front runner of, of what's going to be new and upcoming in, in literature and in the book world. And it just, um, we don't think that the box store really could survive, the big box store could survive with that amount of square footage. So. This, I really think, is an opening up for small stores. We've seen an increase in small stores through the American Booksellers Association. Um, we see it at bookseller school. Um, you know, we just see a lot of people now being interested. They don't want to be everything to everybody. They just want that little niche bookstore that, that caters to their needs.